Hello everyone, this is a makeup tutorial, but not the kind you might be used to. I'm going to show you a way to look like the Joker. It's been a while, but let's see if I've still got it. Okie dokie. Alright, so everybody starts off with now, make sure that your face isn't oily, but, you know, I'm bored. So, just a second. Okay, didn't lock it. So, anyway... Ugh, that door. So, I guess... I've got body paint from... Party City, and for the mouth, this is just kind of a quick job. I'm not going to show you how to do the intricate, like, the scars and everything, but to give the impression, I just use blood gel. So, the first thing I like to do is the eyes. Let's see, don't know what I'm in for, but, um... Just get a little bit of this and... Now you do want to be careful about getting it in your eye, but I'm more than certain that this stuff is like, you know, not toxic. At least less so than the stuff I used to use back in like 2008. I used to just use finger paints. Yep. Uh, All right. And yeah, so I thought I would use this for doing vlogs and stuff because I'm kind of boring when it comes to my videos where I just talk into the camera. So I thought I'll take a chapter from the 2008 Lady Gaga playbook and use a wild and crazy image until, yeah, well, you know how that went. Alrighty. Well, there's that so far. Um, I like to put the black on the eyes first, I think because it works better, like, because the white is going to get on there, and it works better than, you know, putting black on white, so, yeah, that's why I do that. Alright, next step. Gosh, this is ter really not centered well. Alrighty, so, it's kind of burns, I wonder if I should be worried. No, I'm just kidding. Oh boy. I tried looking for white base, but they didn't have it. I guess just pick wherever. Man, I haven't done this in years. I remember back in 2012, when Dark Knight Rises came out, I was going to go dressed up as the Joker, but then the Colorado, sh even though Bane was the main bad guy for that, but then the Colorado shooting happened, and yeah, it just seemed in bad taste. It's so crazy to think that that's something you can't really do nowadays. Like, Back then, it was normal, and I honestly think that you almost couldn't release The Dark Knight today just because, you know, the Joker was fiction back then, but now there are so many people like that. It's funny to think that nobody has, like, so many people have gone off the rails and, like, become the Joker, but there hasn't been a single rich dude who's thought, I'm going to do something about this and try to be Batman. 
Hmm. There are all jokers and no dark knights. It's a little bit sad, but oh well. See, it's already starting to look that way. And I'm so glad I got a haircut a while ago, maybe about two weeks ago. Yeah, you want to be careful, like, um, if the black around the eyes hasn't dried yet, um, it can mix and it can look gray and it can make its way into the rest of the mix. Oh gosh. And I haven't used coagulated fake blood. Yeah, this isn't... Gosh, who's going to think that it's real blood? I used to use red semi-permanent hair dye. And I would paint my face like the Joker pretty regularly. And the thing is, it would take about a day for the smile to go away. So the next day I'd show up at work and... I have this faint grin across my face, and they'd wonder, what's going on? Oh. <laughs> uh, and if you can't tell, I work at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Probably shouldn't advertise that. Or who knows. Actually, the night that I went to go see the premiere of The Dark Knight, oh, I mixed a little black in there. Um, let it dry a bit, I don't know. Or I'll get back to that side. Well, I mean the Joker does, stuff does look a bit messy. I remember one of the early experiments I had with doing the Joker's makeup, it got mixed in and it looked more like zombie stuff than anything. Let's see, I am going to use for finer detail, now I just look like a panda, so it's been seven minutes about. Now there is a thing I used to do, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it, where you would flick water and then just kind of like and scrunch your face up. Maybe, maybe not. Hmm. And Heath Ledger did do his own makeup, so. Let's see. I never used a Q-tip before doing this, but I want to get some of the finer details. <sighs> hmm. This might be my gimmick for my vlogs, but I already said that. I don't know why I'm doing the mouth. I'm going to paint it red anyway. Yeah. My brother walks in like, David, what's going on? Let's see. Yeah, you have to do a fine line of where the black and white meet together, because that kind of sells it. Hmm. It's funny, I can't help thinking that the Joker has now become this high mark of, um, he's kind of this golden ring for, like, actors. Like, if everyone's like, oh, I've got to do my take on the Joker, like, I'll get taken that much more seriously. I mean, there are roles that people have where it's like, oh, I've got to do this to, like, be considered in. Hmm. Let's see. I need more white.
So what do you do on a Saturday night, David? When you do, when you get out of work early? Uh. <laughs> uh don't worry, I am perfectly sane. Or am I? Because would a perfectly sane person say they're perfectly sane? No, everything's fine. I'm just bored. I'm going to be shooting a movie in about a month, maybe a bit under, or just... Yeah. I'm thinking maybe... Let's see... Okay. One of the good things about the Heath Ledger Joker is it can be messy and it's not a betrayal of the character. In fact, it's more indicative of his like mantra of being an agent of chaos and such. Hmm. More up there. By now the black should have um, dried and you can probably I remember in the day I used to just use a blow dryer, but I don't know if we have one. Can't remember seeing one. Probably do, but meh. <sighs> Let's see. I think we've got enough. Mm. Oh. Probably should have gotten one of those like pads or whatever they use for makeup. Eh, oh well. Alrighty. Oh, the smile is gonna make it. Smile though your heart is aching. Smile even though it's breaking. That song totally made the Joaquin Phoenix version of the Joker of the trailer. You know, I know. I said I was good on the black, but I think we need to add some. I'm going to use... Hmm, how does it look? Yeah, just some touch-up. I don't know if I'll edit this or not. We're clocking it at 13 minutes. I did a video once where I didn't post it, but I had this idea of like doing, having Winnie the Pooh do Joker dialogue. And it was kind of horrifying, like horrifying in a good way. And I just never got around to it. funny if they wound up using this in a court case saying, you see, this is why you don't homeschool your kids. Actually, let's see. I'm going to say, do a little bit of, can lightly touch and make the black and white kind of mix, and that sells it on like you know, making it look messy. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh shoot, well, no. That'd be the messy bit. I think I'm almost done and then we'll get to the smile. I've never used fake blood. Uh, okay. Let's see. Just 
close your eye and apply that. I think that's how Lindsay Lohan used to do her makeup back in the day when, yeah, before she was horrifying. Poor Lindsay. Let's see. This is coming along very nicely. <sighs> do, 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 15 minutes. Almost 13. It is 15 going on 16. Now the Funny, I did a video recently about the Mandela effect, and the views on that are steadily climbing. Wow. I'm not sure how I'm going to use this. This is an experiment for me as well. Let's see. Let's see. This is caution. If ingested, rinse mouth with water. So, uh -huh. Let's see. Yeah, because of my movie, I need to sort of learn how to do, like, a bullet wound. This is actually going really good. Kind of difficult to talk about this one. Oh wow, look at the way it's dripping. I remember when I found out that Jared Leto was going to be the Joker in Suicide Squad. I was so jealous because I saw him in Dallas Buyers Club and I'm like, shoot, he beat me to it. The lead singer of 30 Seconds to Mars. And I really don't think that he got a fair shot at his interpretation of the character. Because he didn't serve a function to the story. Like, you could have taken him out of the story and it would work just as well. Let's see. I'll be back really quick.